is quilting art. Now, if you're a quilter, you'll know how much work and dedication and commitment and hours go into quilting. So there shouldn't really be any doubt over the question whether quilting is art. But I'm joined by a team of experts to discuss. Lucy, introduce yourself. I'm Lucy Engels. I'm based in Edinburgh and I make art that happens to be quilts. Linda. Linda Seward. I've been a quilt maker for over 45 years and I'm a quilt judge, so I have a lot of opinions about whether quilts are art. And Jenny. Uh, I'm Jenny. I'm Swedish, but I live in the UK and uh, I'm an artist. I'm practicing saying it comfortably. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so we have our experts. How annoyed do you all get when you hear people say, well, that's not art? The trouble is really that it, it is a judgment by other people who think that only a painting on the wall can be art and that something made out of fabric can't possibly be a work of art. But I really disagree with that. What I find tricky is that it's not just a painting on a wall that's art. Sculpture is art. A bed with your old bed sheets from when you were a teenager is art. There's so many things that's called art, but quilts have kind of been cut out because it's women's work and it's a craft not quite making it to art level. Do you think that's the, the perception then, that quilting is predominantly done by women, therefore it's not important? Historically, I'm, well, histor I'm Historically, you're right mm -hmm. about that, but mm -hmm. now there are very many, very talented men who are making quilts. Um, so we can't really talk about that aspect anymore, but I just wonder if it's the fact of the needle and thread and homespun and, you know, it, it's not, you're not like digging your hands into the clay and creating a a nude figure or something. It's really something you can put on a bed or... But see, see to me, an art quilt isn't put on a bed. It's meant to be hung on a wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Festival of Quilts, actually, when you're judging the art category, they say an art quilt expresses an emotion. And I think if you see a beautiful art quilt hanging on the wall, you, you feel something for it. You get, you get some kind of um, effect in your soul. <laughs> I know that sounds corny, but that's how I feel. Do you think then it's down to the viewer to, to be able to read the quilts? You said it, it's about emotion and detecting emotion. Are we not reading the quilts very well? Are we not being taught how to read the quilts? Well, it, you shouldn't really have to be told. You should just feel it when you see it. And you shouldn't be judging it on whether it's made of fabric or not. Um, there are some applique quilts by some amazing designers that really they look like a photograph or a painting and it's only when you get up close mm -hmm. that you can see the stitches and to me that makes it even more artistic because you're choosing fabrics you're selecting colors you're just not sloshing paint onto a canvas i don't know what do you think jenny well i was going to say to lucy who makes um quilts that are also art mm -hmm. that's how i feel but i don't think you do uh, art quilts yeah, I, th I think the simple act of actually hanging a quilt on a wall or putting it in a gallery would change the perception of the viewer that it's art. If you put it on a wall rather than, say, a bed, or you give it to a child or you know, whatever to functionally use, it just shifts that perception. It's the same object. It's just how it's perceived. Yeah. And historically, that is when quilts began to be perceived as art, when they were hung on the walls yeah. mm. of the Whitney Museum in 1971. There was an Amish um, exhibition mm. by Jonathan Holstein and Gail Vanderhoof, and the crowds of people that were lining up to go in there, and, you know, everybody, nobody could believe it. Nobody could mm. believe that these were really just quilts made by ordinary people. They said, what? What have we been missing? This is real art. Mm -hmm. And then the quilt revival in 1976 with the American Bicentennial, there was an explosion after that. But a lot of those people were making quilts for beds. Mm -hmm. It's only, I think, really recently that we are getting this wonderful art quilting mm -hmm. that uh, you two are making. Mm -hmm. I just want to pick up on something you said, Lucy, about quilts having another function. Mm -hmm. And do you think that's, that's the issue, that these are really useful things? They're not only beautiful mm -hmm. pieces of artwork, but they have another function as well. Yeah. yeah, they have a practical function. And I think a lot of people that make quilts like making things that can be functional. 
Um, and that kind of draws a lot of people to it. They have this kind of dual purpose, if you like. But then with it just becoming a quilt on your bed, um, I don't know, it kind of lowers the value in a lot of people's eyes. Mm. Mm. I, I think something you said was interesting. Should we just let people decide whether it's art or not? But I think people need to be educating, <laughs> uh, educated. <laughs> Because yes. uh, you've got Bisa Butler, who's an amazing mm -hmm. American quilt, uh, definitely an artist from, she just came out an artist, mm -hmm. I, I think. And I'm not going to go too much into the article, but they said she's finally made it into, made quilts be art. And the, her quilts have always been art. Mm -hmm. And they kind of dissed her. My kids would mm -hmm. cringe if they heard me. But you know what I mean? That by saying she finally made it, into art it just shows you how little people mm. think quilts are art yeah it's almost yeah. like you have to battle against it to make it art that if she'd done if she'd used paint for her work and made it look exactly the same it would have instantly been art but it's almost like she's had to get right to the top before they're like oh yeah that is that's yeah. good it's, yeah. re it's really putting a value on mm -hmm. your work Mm -hmm. And I guess if you don't value your own work and if you don't say this is an art quill and, mm -hmm. you know, it's worth a lot and, you know, look mm -hmm. at it and enjoy it, then other people aren't going to look at it that way. And if you mm -hmm. if you make a quilt and just and put it on a bed, which is great, a lot yeah, of people love, do. I love, love it. Quilts I do on it beds. myself. Um, it's t it is a different thing. And I don't mm -hmm. think a bed quilt is an art quilt. Is that mm -hmm. too controversial? No, but you to could say? just take it and hang it on the wall and it will be an art quilt. No. It, it could be a big no, piece it, of art. No, because you're not making it to be an art quilt. If you're making well, it to be on a bed... You could put this on the bed and you could put it on the wall and it will be art. I agree, but... Someone mm. put that on a sofa, someone put it on the wall. Mm. For me, that's not, it not, it's not up to me to decide. Someone can have a sculpture and they can use it to hang their necklaces off as a, as a utilitarian mm -hmm. tool. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't stop it from being a sculpture just because they used it for something mm -hmm. um, else. Okay, but we're going back to the concept of art, a quilt as mm -hmm. art. And I'm thinking of this year's uh, Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. And mm -hmm. there are two amazing quilts in mm -hmm. that exhibition mm -hmm. that are, there's nothing, they are quilts. One by Annie Folkard, I don't know the mm -hmm. other maker. And you walk in and there is this fabulous quilt in the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. Yeah. That, to me, is really important for yeah. us as quilters. Yeah, so, so should the big art establishments They should begin be to take notice of us. To, yeah. Yeah. to put yeah. quilting. I, I've, I hate to admit it, but I have entered quilts since the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. Mm -hmm. I never got in. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good sign that Annie got in and yeah. the other quilter. I'm sorry, I don't remember And she her sold name. a quilt within two she days. She sold it, yeah. <laughs> should mm -hmm. we talk about the price tag on quilts? So I imagine some people grumble uh, about, you know, <laughs> You're trying to Sharp sell a and take a breath, everyone. <laughs> well, they wouldn't think twice about, I don't know, buying a Damien Hurst for millions and millions mm. of pounds. Let so me is tell it you. all down to the price tag? Well, I mean, it's, it's down mm -hmm. to what people will pay. You know, you can put a high price tag on it, but mm -hmm. it won't sell. You know, and then somebody said to me, oh, you know, I bet that's worth a thousand pounds. I said, if that was worth a thousand pounds, I'd get one P an hour <laughs> for the yeah. amount of time I spent on it. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can't, I can't actually price my quilts. Uh, because uh, I just spend so much mm -hmm. time on them. Mm -hmm. That's difficult, you know. Mm. But then do people turn around saying, well, you love doing it, don't you? It's for the oh, It's yes. very patronising, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You wouldn't say that to your plumber. Of course you do. You wouldn't go to your plumber and go, but you love this bit, don't you? You wouldn't say you that. Unplug the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you do it for free for me? You know? Yeah. And that's what it feels yeah. like if you're putting too low a price on a quilt. Yeah. So, yeah, price is good. And, you know, there are a number of American quilters mainly who... Mm charge a lot and get it mm -hmm. you know you've got to really make a name for yourself and mm -hmm. and then have you know have the chutzpah to yeah. put a good a high price on and it. you were saying let's not get the female and male discussion into this but you can't have this discussion without mentioning it mm. because the male quilters get paid more for the quilts yeah i, I didn't want to say that no but it's true <laughs> but why yeah. not? i know it is why not <laughs> Because their quilts are art, yeah. mm. most of them. Yeah. It, and it's not fair, but we need to talk about it because mm -hmm. otherwise people are going to keep thinking, oh, like you said, it's a woman, she's doing it, she's enjoying it, she's probably doing mm -hmm. it in her spare time, so I'm looking after the kids or something. I'm going back 
but you mm -hmm. know what I mean. It yeah. is, what, what, yeah. what do you think about No, the, I'm glad you said it, because well, I was too afraid to. <laughs> well, the stats is, what, 10%? 10 10% women get compared to men yeah. for artwork, and I think automatically because it is women's, women's work. When a man does it, it's something extraordinary um, in the art world. Mm. Probably not in the quilting community, but in the art world. Yeah. Um, and therefore, it's given a higher... Yeah. Just, just or people are willing to pay because they think there's l it's more special. I don't, know. Also I don't know. When you put yeah. it like that, yes. it's yeah. exactly but the same word. We could continue <laughs> this discussion forever, I'm sure. If you want to comment, please comment below. We'd love to hear what you think. But thank you very much for listening in and watching our discussion here about whether quilting is art.